Hello everyone and welcome to another beer review here from the Czech Republic. Um, thank you very much for joining, thank you for watching. Today is Friday, um, so I'm really looking forward to a beer. It's been a long week, um, a lot of driving um, this week as well, so um, I'm looking forward to, um, to having a cold and fresh beer um, and share my opinion and my, my thoughts about this beer with you here in this video. And today I've chosen um, a beer from the Czernohora Brewery. Um, their Lejak, their Sveti Lejak, um, it's a pale lager, 12 degrees um, with 4.8% alcohol content um, and it's got 28 um, IBUs. Um, so, you know, I'm expecting a kind of smooth ride, um, nothing too bitter, um, just really a stable kind of um, pale lager, um, you know, a typical kind of, you know, Czech, potentially Moravian um, pale lager. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Czernohora is a small town, a small village in the um, Brno region, so in the you know very south of the country. It is about you know 20 minutes drive just north of Brno. Um, it is a small village um, with almost nothing else but the brewery and a few houses. Um, so if you ever visit there, it's a very interesting place. They have some restaurants there where you can take the, or taste the beer. Um, there's also a brewery shop where you can buy the beer and also some merchandise. Um, so a very nice place. And again, you know, about 20 minutes um, north of Brno, you can take a bus there as well. So very easy to get to. Um, Brewing in Chernohora um, has been around for a very long time. Um, I read that earlier this week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, um, they marked the 725th anniversary of um, you know beer brewing in Chernohora being mentioned the first time. Um, so you know, 725 years ago. Um, it was there, is, there was the first mention of a beer from Chernohora, um, so I think that really is um, a long time ago, and you know it really goes to show um, about Czech brewing tradition and um, you know the the kind of um, expertise that really Czech people have on on brewing beer, you know going back as far as 725 years. So absolutely fantastic. And that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to have this beer today, um, because I read earlier that um, this anniversary was marked um, earlier this, um, this week. Um, let's not spend too much time on talking, uh, but rather on the beer. Again, here is the label, uh, Czernohora Lejak, the 12 degrees um, uh, pale lager. Ah, oh, let's dive. Let's get stuck into this. I'm using my Chernohora glass um, today. It's not a glass with a handle, unfortunately. Um, but when I went to the brewery, that's the only kind of glass they had. Um, I think it's a Willy uh, or Becher style glass. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's one of the two. Um, I, I do enjoy drinking from it, um, you know. But I, I do prefer a glass with a handle. But it is what it is. Um, this will do just fine. Look at this. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Um, there's this kind of deep golden color. And again, you know, the, the, the white foam on top, it just looks so inviting. Take a look. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I know the smell is also this little bit of hop aroma, a little bit malt aroma, in fact. It's it's very, very nice. It smells just really fresh. So I'm really looking forward to it. So, Nastravi. It's great. It's absolutely amazing. It's really, really, it's just one of these beers that I absolutely enjoy. And I could come back to this beer over and over again. I, I just don't get tired of this. 
it's a beer I've had many times before. So, you know, when I do beer reviews, um, it, it, there's a good chance I've had this beer before. But this one I've had many times. And I just really enjoy it. It's, it's malty. It's got a tiny, tiny little bit of hop bitterness. Um, but when I speak about malty, I really mean it's a malty kind of sweetish touch to it. And just a very slight hop bitterness that only comes through you know in in the finish and only really really um slightly it's just a really really well balanced beer a absolutely perfect i will take a little bit more yeah it's just so perfectly balanced you There is a tiny, there's that, that little bit of hot bitterness that just comes through at the end. But I think the maltiness here is really the, the kind of sweetish note to it. It's, it's a little bit, you know, stands out more than, than the hot bitterness at the end. Um, but overall, a really, really well balanced, really nicely done beer. Absolutely enjoyable. And when you think that this beer is a kind of mid range price beer, um, compared to to some of the other, um, you know, higher price beers that you have in the Czech Republic, um, you know, from industrial breweries, um, then I really, I would go for this one, you know, anytime. Um, because, you know, from a, from a price um, point of view, it, you know, in, in, in general, from a taste point of view, I do believe it has a lot more to offer than some of the more expensive industrial beers in the Czech Republic. And, and potentially, you know, not even potentially, I do believe it has more to offer than, um, you know, the, the more popular brands um, like Budva, for example. Budva is, you know, the Budva 12. Um, is, it's a lot higher in the price range. Um, but I do believe this one has a lot more to offer. It is fresher, it is more enjoyable, it is more balanced in my view, um, and it just really has that really, really nice um, aroma to it that you know that, that you're just looking for in a typical Czech lager. So in my view, this is absolutely perfect. I can only recommend this to anybody who you know wants to try a Czech lager. When you come to the Czech Republic, give this a go. Czernohora Lejak because it really is absolutely beautiful. Um, now, with regards to availability, now in the supermarkets you don't always find this. Um, you know, there are some select, sub selected supermarkets that, that may have it. Um, you know, Globus in some locations, but not in all of the locations, um, they will have it. There is one Globus in Prague where you can pick this up. Obviously, you can pick this up probably more. Um, you know, more likely the, the further south you go, so the more towards Breno you go, you will find this more often. Um, there are some pubs in uh, Prague where it's on top, but then again, you know, if you're in the Breno region, um, you will get this a lot more. And I would really recommend to try. Um, the brewery, they do have um, more beers on offer, so they don't just have the, the Sveti Lejak. But they also have, um, you know, different beers. They have the um, Chernohora Pata, then they have um, the Chernohora Horka, which is um, a slightly more bitter beer. Um, then they have a um, a Granat. Um, then they have a an actual dark beer as well. So overall, a very nice selection, and um, you know, a, a really interesting place. So if you ever visit the Czech Republic, go to Chernohora, give it a go. And definitely give this beer a go. I can only recommend it. Um, if you want to order it, uh, there are some shops that um, that do offer it. Um, you know, for ordering online, you can get this on beerdome.cz. Um, and again, you know, in in the Czech Republic, you will be able to pick this up from some of the supermarkets, but not all of them, unfortunately. Um, I will finish this now. I am uh, quite in need of a beer. So um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. Any questions, um, please let me know. I will try to come back to you. If you have tried this before, let me know in the comments what you thought and subscribe to my channel for further um, Czech beer reviews. Thank you very much and have a nice evening. Bye bye.